How's it going everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish. Today we are back at it and we are tying something pretty mean. A customer of ours headed down south to target some Golden Dorado and we are fortunate enough to have some friends down there known as Nove Outdoors. Great people and do boy do they catch a lot of fish. So this pattern will be loosely based off of what they do with a little bit of our own flair to it. Um, if you look on, on their page, you can go to NoveOutdoors.com and look at some of the videos below. If you, are tar if you are tying and going to be targeting fish down there, we highly recommend it. All right, so we'll get after it here. In the vise, we got a Gamagatsu SL12S 1X short in a 4 aught. It's not a really big hook for a 4 aught, so be mindful of that. Don't let that size trip you up and then we are going to have one of these bling bling tail connectors uh, they come in a kit I set it all up if you have not seen how to set these up before we do have a YouTube video for that so we're gonna get into it we're just gonna tie this straight on top of the hook shank and don't go down below the curve And we're going to put a decent amount on here. One, to use up some of this old uni thread. Two, just to make sure it's really secure. One more down and back. We'll do it. And the reality of it is, is this isn't going to have a hook on it. So it's not really going anywhere. All right, we're going to put a little bit of Zappa Gap here. just to solidify that. Hit it with the UV light. And it's still pretty wet. That's okay, we're gonna cover up most of this pretty quick. This fly doesn't take a lot of time. Use this pattern for pike, musky. Any big game predator is going to want a taste of this. I've used some very similar flies like this for ling cod and rockfish off the Washington coast. All right, so we're going to take some bucktail here. And this is going to make up the tail section of this fly. Look for some pretty nice long straight fibers is what we're gunning for here for this part of the fly. Doesn't need to be anything crazy long. You're not looking for 10 inch. Just a couple inches here. All right. So that's about all you need. Just about to the length of the connector. All right. We're just gonna put that on here. Loose wrap. Tight wrap. And continue to get tighter. Make sure it's evenly distributed, which we did a pretty good job of. Get a couple more wraps down, and then we're gonna trim off this excess here. Alrighty, cover that all up and then put the vise back in place. Cool. All right, next step, we're going to take a wire free synthetic brush here and more or less this is craft fur. So um, if you can't get a hold of this, there's always substitutes. Uh, I would recommend using bucktail here, but for the rest of it, I will mention substitutes. So you could throw in crapper here if you don't have one of these wire-free synthetic fox brushes. It's not fox, it's crapper. So 
we're just gonna wrap this up the shank of the hook to right about there I like to just get this to the point where it covers up the bucktail so we're working on a nice clean flat surface for the rest of our materials Cool. Alrighty. Next material, Thunderstruck brush from EP. We got these in the shop. We will have these on, on the site. But like I said about the Fox brush, this is more or less ripple fiber. So if you have some ripple fiber, you can make this happen right here. Brush is just nice. It's in there. It's going to look really uniform. And we are going to just wrap that keeping those fibers going backwards. All right, that's three wraps. It's plenty, we don't want to just overpower the black. We want it to be very much black and red. Make sure we secure this down. And when you're talking about a really toothy critter, critter like the one that this gentleman's gonna be targeting, you could throw in some Zappa Gap right here if you want, or through each connection, just to really solidify it. Alrighty. Couldn't be a spawn fly without a little spawn semi-seal. So we got our Mega here in bleeding black. We are gonna just clump and dump this right on. We're gonna stack a couple sets of it. Lining up all the fibers first here. And you can brush this out afterwards if you want. And Rotating the vise here for this one. Didn't get a lot of distribution on the bottom half of it. So just altering how I do that just a bit, just to make sure I get a really even distribution. Alrighty, starting to come to life here. I'm gonna throw a little bit more on and then we just have a couple more steps to really bring this to life. I just want a little bit more here on the top. Cool. Don't worry about that semi-seal sticking out. We're going to cover all this up. Alrighty. Really like this material. Sneak it into a lot of my shrimp flies. Why not into streamer? So we got the barred voodoo fibers in black clear. This is gonna give us some really nice movement in the water. And we just want this on top but we do want it a little spread out. So as you can see, I set it on there and kind of let it fan out just a tad. Alrighty, fail the rest of it back. And that's looking pretty nice so far. All right. So at this point, we are more or less done. We're gonna do a couple 
more steps to this fly that are really going to get it going. But outside of that, we're getting pretty close. Alrighty, we're going to get ourselves a spawn head here. Fit it. Make sure it looks the way we want it to. All's good in that realm. We're going to pop that off. Use a little liquid fusion here. This is going to seal up this fly, really hold it all together. Going to give it a lifelike element. It's going to push a lot of water. And it's also going to hold this fly together when this toothy critter grabs a hold of it. And that's something that I have talked to them about a lot down south is <clears throat> they talk about the longevity of a fly and how this really will increase the lifespan. These Dorado are really, really toothy, and this is going to help a lot. All right, so at this point, we are nearly done, but we're going to add one more element, and that is the tail. And I do generally do this at the end. So we're going to alter our vise here just a little bit. We got a little swivel here. And we got a Pocarini wiggle tail in black. And we're gonna throw some thread wraps on there. And we are going to cinch this on. And I want that to cover both sides of this. It might be a little bit hard to see. There we go. That will do it. And you can change these out. So this system here, I throw on some of this Zappa cap, I'll show you. All right, that's not going anywhere. All right, so you got that in there. Pull the fly back here. So you can exchange these. So say you don't think black's the ticket, you want to try a red tail, you can definitely exchange those two. Here, I'm going to pull this down, push that stopper back, and voila. So we got ourselves a nice little snack here for some predatory fish down south. Like I said, this style fly has a lot of applications, whether or not you're traveling to South America to target Golden Dorado, peacock bass, smallmouth, largemouth, pike, muskie. These style flies are very productive. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's any questions, be sure to reach out. And all of these materials you saw today are available at Spawn Fly Fish. Thank you so much and have a great day.